The next, let's take a look at the differences with the famous sake to deepen our understandings. You'd probably be exhausted before you can find one. So I'd like to recommend a few that are especially good for beginners. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. When you think of an alcoholic beverage that is unique to Japan, I'm sure you'll immediately imagine Japanese sake. But did you know that there are actually two more kinds? Umeshu plum wine and shochu Japanese whiskey? Umeshu, as the name implies, is literally plum alcohol. And it can be easily made at home by pickling them in alcohol. But then what is shochu? Actually, it would be a shame to end your dining and drinking experiences Japan without knowing what shochu is. So today, I will explain what kind of drink shochu is and its history in Japan. Next, I will also explain the difference between shochu and sake so you can deepen your understanding towards Japanese alcohol in general. By watching this video, your experience of eating and drinking in Japan will become even more exciting and fun. And after watching this video, if there's any other questions you have about Japanese food or drinks, please let me know in the comments. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on travel to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy our content. So let's shochu. First, I'll explain what shochu is in the first place. The definition of shochu under the liquor tax law is distilled liquor other than Western liquor. In other words, any distilled alcohol-containing substance other than whiskey, rum, gin, etc. is shochu. By the way, distilled spirits are alcoholic beverages with a high alcohol content. They are produced by further heating brewed alcohol that are fermented with raw materials and yeast to vaporize only the alcohol and then returning the gas to liquid form again. Also, shochu is made from a very wide variety of ingredients such as sweet potato, rice, barley, brown sugar, and buckwheat. So when was shochu born in Japan? The answer is from the Sengoku War era. No, not the Edo period. Distilled spirits, which originated in the Mesopotamian civilization in BC, eventually crossed the continent and arrived in Japan around the 14th to 15th century. Since the first place it was introduced was an island belonging to the present-day Nagasaki prefecture, the region where shochu is still most favored today is Kyushu. The earliest mention of the word shochu in literature was 1559, just a year before the famous battle of Okehazama, in which Oda Nobunaga fought Imagawa Yoshimoto. It was a common people's drink, the kind that farmers made in their gardens. However, at that time, the raw materials for shochu was expensive. So it was made with cheaper cereals, such as millet and awa instead. It was not until the 20th century that high quality shochu like today started to be produced and became popular throughout Japan. The company that was the predecessor to Takara Shuzo, still a leading company in shochu production today, began selling shochu in the Kanto region in 1912 and it was a huge hit. From there, after the development of distribution and the spread of freezers after World War II, drinking shochu on the rocks and with tonic became widespread. Among these, the shochu highball was revolutionary and has overwhelmingly increased the number of shochu drinkers because it lowers the strong alcohol content of shochu while making it sweet and easy to drink. Even today, it would be very, very difficult to find an izakaya that doesn't serve shochu. Now you understand that shochu has existed around the Sengoku War era, and that it was a common drink that became especially popular from the 20th century. The next, let's take a look at the differences with the famous sake to deepen our understandings. 1. Brewed and distilled liquors. 2. Ingredients. 3. Taste. 4. Drinking method. 5. History. The first difference is that shochu is distilled liquor, whereas sake is brewed liquor. 
Therefore, shochu has about 25% alcohol percentage, while sake has only about 15% alcohol percentage. However, what makes sake a little bit more special than other brewed alcohol like beer and wine is that the rice used to make sake does not contain sufficient sugar. So there's an additional process to convert the starch in the rice to sugar using malted rice. Next, the ingredients are different. While sake is made only from rice, shochu is made from about 16 different ingredients. And strictly speaking, the rice used for sake is different from the kind that's used for rice shochu. Sake is made from rice specially suited for sake brewing, whereas rice for shochu is made from the common edible rice. Thirdly, they have very different tastes. Of course, there are exceptions. But in general, sake has a sweetness and softness unique to rice, and the taste varies depending on the type of sake rice and its milling ratio. Shochu, on the other hand, is characterized by its high alcohol content, which makes it easier to feel a strong sense of dryness. Also, the taste will greatly differ depending on the material for shochu. Then, sake and rice shochu taste the same? The answer is no. This is because, as explained earlier, shochu is distilled from root alcohol and the alcohol content is extracted, so the sweetness and mildness are removed. However, in the end, you need to try it out yourself to fully understand. Fourth, the way you drink them is different. Sake, which is relatively low in alcohol content, can be enjoyed at different temperatures. Shochu, on the other hand, is high in alcohol content and can be enjoyed by mixing it with a variety of other things. In addition to water and hot water, on the rocks and tonic are also popular ways of drinking it. It's really close to the difference between wine and whiskey. Lastly, the history is very different too. As I explained earlier, shochu was a common drink that farmers would make in their gardens from around the Sengoku War era. In contrast, sake is believed to have been consumed since the ancient Yayoi period. In addition, since rice, the ingredient of sake has long been a staple food in Japan. It has been treated as sacred in Shinto rituals as a gift from the gods. There's even an old saying in Japan that says that there are seven gods within one rice grain. Therefore, sake has traditionally only been drunk at Shinto rituals. For this reason, there have been areas that make sake exclusively for offering to the imperial court since around the Nara period. Then, with the increase of numbers of temples and shrines making sake, and the evolution of the manufacturing process, sake finally became a popular drink among the general public around the peaceful Edo period. In other words, sake and shochu differ greatly in history length and traditional purpose. So by now, I'm sure you're really excited to try out drinking shochu. But once you start looking for information, I'm sure you'd be super surprised. Because just like wine and whiskey, there are hundreds and hundreds of brands of shochu. You'd probably be exhausted before you can find one. So I'd like to recommend a few that are especially good for beginners. To make things simple, your best choice would be barley shochu. Shochu can be made from more than 10 different ingredients, but barley shochu is generally considered to be the least peculiar, most refreshing, and easiest to drink for beginners. Among the barley shochu, these three are the most recommended. Nakanaka, Kanehachi, Gyoma. These are all provided at many izakaya and are also sold online and at shops. I'll put more information inside the description box if you're interested. But even if you can't find any of these three, you can still look out for barley shochu. By the way, the best way to drink it is generally with water, but I personally recommend hot water too. I hope you try different brands and eventually find your favorite shochu and ways of drinking it. If you are already a fan of shochu, please give your advice to beginners in the comments section. Then lastly, today's conclusion. Shochu is a unique alcoholic drink in Japan that is defined as distilled liquor other than Western liquor. It is made from a wide variety of ingredients, including sweet potato, rice, barley, brown sugar, and buckwheat. It was born in Japan during the Sengoku War era as a common drink, often made in gardens of peasants. Finally, in the 20th century, high-quality shochu started to be produced and became popular throughout Japan, along with drinking them on the rocks and with tonic. 
The main differences between shochu and sake are 1. Brewed and distilled liquors 2. Ingredients 3. Taste 4. Drinking method 5. History For beginners, the most recommended kind of shochu is barley shochu. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you to deepen your understanding towards shochu and made you want to try drinking it right away, please hit the like button to help me boost this video to more people. And please check out our sub channel and membership through the link inside the description box. And also guys, recently I started doing a new challenge, which is a Kofi page. If you can take a look at the description box for me, I can find it, the Kofi page there. Right now I'm raising money to become a Japanese language instructor. I want to go to school to get an official license and with your help I'll be able to make this dream come true and eventually I want to make more content related to Japanese, start doing um, online Japanese lessons and such so I really hope you can help me out by donating. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching everyone.